on the left. He could be really key to see when the timing is. There's the is paranoia. He picks he's going to swing in. And that is going to be huge. He does get the one and distracts, and he picks up a kill for himself. Very important <laughs> based on recent timing. But it is going to definitely be a RRQ round. I think the fact that they get onto the site pays. Entry coming through up on top of Jen for Jemkin. 30 seconds left. A little bit of util burned here. So plenty planted. remaining for the post plant as they now get situated. Side player around the back, gonna have to try to clear out this turret. Is looks like they're not gonna set it up. Instead, Xfarrow just gonna swing back in. Takes out side player first, then sets it. Maybe deny some of that, but he doesn't only have a ghost, so he yeah. can hang around a little bit longer if he wants to try to get some picks. But no, then he's not spotting anything. Looks like he will just opt to go ahead, and keep his life intact, and overall a flawless anti eco here for the side of RQ as they start things off 2-0. Very From nice. Saya player and his buddy Izu just trying to get some information. Gonna see Estrella potentially. It's just around the corner oh. as he swings <laughs> in. Yep. Just a bulldog, but also not a fast enough reaction. Taken down by the headshot is thrown there from Elmy Mort. Checking across in towards short. Double stack in Boathouse, one in Alley as well. Recalling my T1 very much have this site stacked up. Hurt there for contact. As the swing gets ready to come in, Xparrow gonna be no to tries to swing in. Rossi this time not getting caught. Gets the catch. Elmy Moore slinking around the back. Has a judge in hand, but also the sheriff. But is he ready for this? No. Rossi able to find that pivots back over to switch to take out flips. And just like that, it is a flawless deny on the conversion here as T1 get themselves on board in round three. Well, it all starts with the pick and be main and then after that it's kind of just one by one absolutely feel like they're trash but it's good to say it and uh get your team in the right mindset as a double Ooh. peek here and side player is going to take him out so straight <laughs> all alone once again not going to win that one and just a hair off i mean even with the double swing he likely would have been traded but there's Ooh. potential for him to be able to find that but flip's now going to be taken down push his way up through cat it's a falling spray across Xfero once again, just taking quite a bit of damage. Saw him knocked down to, I think, about 60 in the last round, now down to 50. Scarpe will just, again, double stack in here in the boats alongside Excurit. Spraying through. Oh, is Helmimar going to be able to displace both of them? And that just goes ahead and equalizes the player count. 3v3 now as that plant comes in. Hey, you can see they, they were just way in the back there. They did not see that one. Sia is just so clean in this round. I mean, every time it's just one tapping people down. They're going to need him, though, for this retake because Jemkin and Elmi Moore in a pretty good spot here. Zutsi being across. Rossi now going to be noted. Jemkin having a good idea about where two of them are. And Saya noted over in B main as well. It's just about whether or not they can actually stave this off. The rush in. Jemkin going to be able to shut that one down, but now the trade comes in. Elmi Moore cleaned up. The three players lost, but still T1 getting to the defuse and tying up the scoreline at 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, going to give that one over to Izu. And very nice. Very much out wide. Should that swing come in from Jemkin? This uh -oh. could be brutal. Drone up over the top. <laughs> He's trying to overstay and see if he can find anything at all. But this ends up costing him dearly. dearly. Now Rossi is well dead. Jemkin swings out, catches him, trying to escape back into market. As extra it. He's in deep. He needs to be able to get out of this position. And he does take two down with him. So solid effort from the new IGL. As that is not where you want the team be to. <laughs> Carpe able to get the punish there onto Estrella. They got bogged down. And now things very well can slip out of their hands. Carpe at 71 sends out the dart. 30 seconds left. Elmi Moore gets himself across the opposite side, the drone to try to chase. Pulls back into the site itself. Oh, but does Carpe read this? Well, now here's the tap on the spike, so he knows. Shock dart thrown down. Elmi Moore taking a little bit of damage, but challenges around the corner, finds the headshot, and manages to bail RRQ out. He's going to be looking to. Yeah, that's, that's the end of that drone. Um, going to be looking to get on in here in the retake. You see Rossi oh. trying to look behind him at tree. This lurk from Xfero. I mean, they already managed to find one carpet just getting taken out by that wall bank through. Off shot from Cyan, not going to be able to get the connection. Now Xfero strikes, looking for three. He's able to find it. Rotate around the back to come onto the corner, and Cyan player cannot line up the shot fast enough. A 4K for Xfero as RQ get four rounds. Yeah, and keep in mind, T1 heavily yet. He is certainly... Um, He's going to try to give his life for the cause here. Up over the top, does manage to find one Carpe. At the same time, finishing off Elmi more, so the detain comes in. He's the only one caught by it. Looks with covering fire, able to find an Excurate Carpe. Now dead, and Sion player will be finished off in that detain. Leaving now just Rossi and Izu. A 2v2, weapon recovered for Izu, though. Yeah. 
All things considered, not too bad for the side of T1. Oh, and might be able to get this pick as uh, Zizu. Gonna spike get the jump down. on Astrea, and the spike is down. Still a lot of time. Oh. But Demkin not gonna be able to win that one. Izu pretty crisp on a couple to give T1. Make sure they can't be notified. And Asaya once again, going on a bit of a walkabout, playing a fairly narrow angle. Checks over towards the left, nothing spotted. Dash to the radio, spots one, but Elmimor just continues to swing in. Catches him in the head. Right there through the corner. Now flash denied as Rossi does get nullified. Jemkin will be able to go ahead and take him down. Tell me more at the cost of that entry, but RQ now with four members will be able to get the plant. And I think overall T1, Carpe and Extra left alive. Are the one kill, but then it was kind of just an easy cleanup for RQ, leading to a pretty free round here. Yeah, I mean, Xfero's still hunting and he will get taken down. And this is about the worst case scenario. I was going to say, I honestly. Wouldn't mind them just sitting back and allowing these two players to stay alive, crucially because Exurit was just one charge away. Walk. So again, wanting to go for this peak, but they're inside the smoke now here on Cat. Double second the opposite side, side player able to find one. Now the smoke dissipates. <laughs> they both strike a two for two overall. Only more down to sixty. Dash forth, trying to get themselves into the site, and Carpe just not ready for it. Jemkin just dashes in and instantly taps him. Yeah, you could tell that Carpe was like, to try to retake this one. Spots him. Jemkin just pivoting back, not allowing him to get the repeak lineup. Swing in. They're Ooh. both lined up now, though. Zaya takes him down. Doesn't even take any damage for his troubles, and Execute will find Estrella. What a turnaround here. From a you know? surefire win for T1 <laughs> to uh, a nice zero point there from Rossi as Hunter's Fury now coming through from Carpe. But he tucked back over towards Wine, and Tag's not quite going to be found, but Rossi just reading a timing, feeling like, okay, Hunter's Fury probably pushed them back. They're going to try to get themselves back over in towards a main and away from anything, as T1 at the moment are just playing left. the sights. And we do have oh boy. set up here. Carpe's just lining them up, picks up two for the one. Elmi Moore finally does take him down. They need to try to get in here quickly, but... As they make the attempt, Izu and Rossi, one more apiece to go ahead and close things out. Uh -oh. Trying to look for someone here as the quickly get in on the site, but this entry not quite as clean as the first one. And now the rest of the team is going to follow up. But Rossi, here with a nice flash, kind of flashes himself on the side there, and Elmimor will take him down. Yeah, this one, it's far too chaotic here. Versailles player to try to line up any of those shots with the operator. Drone now up over the top. Spots one in market. Excret now noted. And now taking it down, Elmimor. Making the best of that Guardian. Carpe with a reveal of his own. is able to find one, swings on the corner, and can't quite line up the other. So, RQ. Just uh, peeking out of B main. <laughs> he might be the first person to contact if RQ do commit to this push towards B. They open things up with that null command. Be curious to see if Sai actually tries to stand his ground. He won't have the exit. Oh, boy. Just around the corner. Do they read this? Oh, the flash, they swing in a little bit too late. Now Rossi here in main, able to put two down on the ground. Jemkin oh. dead, Rossi with an effective third. Is that a res? Quick tap on it around the corner, but they need to try to fight their way out of this one. Estrella will be able to find the headshot. Shutting down Rossi here for the moment. Paranoia across, swings out, but will end up falling. And that is six. He's going to be able to try to get away from this one as Paranoia does connect. He's going to be held by that zero point, but Shock Dart lobbed in, looking for some damage, but Rossi already able to find the opening kill as Jemkin falls. Now Saya getting Elmimore as well. Straya spotted, noted here in boats. Flash straight into his face, still comes away with one while being full flashed, but ultimately it's just Flipshider by himself. Yeah, at the end of the day, going to be a nice entry here from the set of T1 because he can't quite land those shots. He had so many opportunities, and Saya will take tag him up, though. And Saya wanting to take a peek in towards heaven. Spots the shoulder, and Straya not swinging wide enough to identify Saya player. Does end up falling down. Yeah, going to be a pretty tough ask here for the set of RQ. Let's see how they want to do this. Maybe just... Straight up through the door, as Exurit is here, just spraying him down. Even Flash did not matter, Izu up top as well. Oh. And that's going to be the end of Elmi Moore on top of it. So 8-6, T1. That's one. You don't call it left click, left click, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone say one. Well, you have now. Yeah. Exurit not opting to spend too much, wants to have his uh, economy relatively in sync here with the rest of the squad. I thought maybe we would see the Carpe or... He's super high up the chair for him, but 
Uh, uh. Flips and Estrella trying to make something happen here outside of A, and uh, they just end up getting gunned down. Izu coming up huge. Yeah, that's pretty rough, and it's going to be a couple of upgrades as well. 4T1. So they just get They're building up their ultimates. So if they can get rid of some of these weapons, that would be a major uh -oh. boon. And oh, oh no. boy, oh, Saya yeah. spotting Elmimar. <laughs> the gun barrel giving things away. Xperil, what this is going to look like for the side of RRQ. They have three guys in mid and around pizza at the moment. So, uh -oh. oh, that's my not God. the way you want it to go. Rossi well, he also gets Elmimar. Just threw the smoke, and I just, whatever could have, okay, whatever uh, is discussed. Flashbang. Might not matter too much anymore. As he oh. lips, swings in, the paranoia hits him. What an effort for him, though. Be able to find those two kills, but. Yeah, he looks angry, and, um, you know, not going to get the ace. That Things coming down, expecting that recon at any moment, but they're just holding this, and this means that because they're just creeping forward, they have no idea that they're in the sun. I mean, look at Australia. <laughs> he has no idea whatsoever. Jemkin now overwhelmed, swarmed. Ends up falling in T1. What a call. What a read. They say, okay, you know what? Let's just enter with no util. And now the cleanup continues, and T1 are running away with decently aware of that. Zexcure was considering sending the nano over to that position for the brief little moment. Flash out full blind as Xparrow swing out. Oh my god. Just full whiffs across the board as four players disappear. T1 just Thanos snapping them out of existence as suddenly it is only Estrella left. Zaya pushing, prodding, taking them down. A team ace as T1 get themselves up to map and point. Invested. Going across as here's the push now into the beast side. Elmer Morton here. Guardian in hands, able to find one. Can't quite get the second. Xperia trying to get the drag across, but Rossi again! Another 3k! What is it? The third, the fourth one. Jemkin will be able to find Carpe. As they now bring it into a 2v3. Rossi down low on HP. Smoke about to dissipate. They know they're coming from that direction as well. Execure playing this angle very, very nicely. They and are blinded. Is. Izu sets it up for him. Swing onto the corner. The kills come through and T1. important mentally for the side of RRQ. They do get to start here on the attacker side, and okay. already, Sparrow gonna get them on the board. Solid opener there, putting that Sheriff to good use. Jump peek there from Rossi, spotting quite a bit. Takes a tag, but is able to back away over towards the A side, but for now he is gonna be operating all on his lonesome. And with the information gained, as okay, extra will be able to find one. Sparrow trying to re-lurk back in towards B, but I think Satuesque there is a ex Excurate. Able to find that kill, but now creeping up into the smoke. Rossi pops the poison or, or the poison orb gets popped. He tucks away back in towards stairs. Yeah, he gets a lot of information. Uh, Excurate not quite able to land that one, and Schneider does get out of there, so. Time gonna be ticking. So we look for an entryway into this one. Paranoia getting a decent catch, but they can't quite swing the corners fast enough before that. Blind does expire. Excrit and Rossi able to find one apiece here. As they get themselves over towards the spike, Jemkin on the drop down. Looking for the spray through. Has to push forward. That's going to be the diffuser. Now taking down Izu right back over onto it. It's held to half. Oh. And Rossi staves off Estrella. <laughs> Somehow, some way. T1 turn this round on its head and get them flying B by himself. Quick rendezvous oh. back over into Waterfall. Excurit moves over to try to reinforce his position. Paint shells. Well, Jemkin's able to find it with the classic. The paint shells would have done the job all the same. So, elimination found. Sight broken open. But a triple push now coming through from Mound is. Uh, well, yeah, Xparo now spotting this one out. Everyone needs to get tucked away. So he's not going to be able to find anything here. Estrella out wide. Does get taken down. Flips dead moments before. As the turret there, but attention pulled. One enemy remaining. As this is falling apart. Elmy more now the last man standing. Can't quite line up the headshot there. So a bit of damage dealt. Spike planted overall. Not too bad of an eco attempt here for RQ, but T1 will be moving up 2-0. Yeah, at the end of the day, they get on over. Now going to be thrown down to try to peel some of that pressure off. Alarm bot left in as well as Rossi. Going to be waiting for the rest of the team to start arriving. Not wanting to reveal his position. Swing out, and Elmimor actually does take him down. Top rope. 
Sacred still hunting. Izu gonna be noted behind, only has a Sheriff, and oh, Saya player had to have been looking at the mini-map. Here as well. And... A swing and a death here in a brief little moment as... Yeah, needs to face out. Yeah. Needs to get that death bonus and eventually will, but it's gonna be a flawless. The benefit of the doubt. Pick up that kill is now looking to challenge outside of Rubble. Oops. As already, Estrella is going to be taken down. Asaya is not going to delay at all. Knows that Jemkin is there as well. And it will be Carpe to take him down. That's three for zero in favor of T1. I mean, the, the call was don't hesitate. They absolutely do not. They absolutely run them down. And uh, so far, their play has been quite nice. RRQ, they got the one around. But as you mentioned, they really stifle any hope of... Oh, boy. Well, getting any momentum as <laughs> Izu is going to pick up one extra as well, getting out there. And you know, the showstopper doesn't seem to get any value, but um, still going to be advantage T1 here as this plant is going to come down onto the A site. Sometimes you don't need that showstopper to find the kill. It's all about just ushering the players into a position that you want them to be in where they don't Dog. want running at them. <laughs> they scramble back into the pen. Bork, bork. More pushing the smoke, does get a timing, looks for a little bit more, but the spray's just a bit off. He puts Izu down to 30. Cannot confirm the kill. The time ticking. T1 need to get themselves into the site here. Very soon oh. as there's a slide down Estrella. He lands in onto the snake bite. Nextrit is able to collect that kill. As swing around the back. Excret finishing him off with the classic. Oh, it's gonna man. be just enough time to be able to get that defuse through here by Rossi. The T1 now four to one. The timing for Estrella so to see. Didn't win the round, but. One of the better looking ones for our RQ. And Shell's checking bend. Isu just sat here within the smoke. Do they suss this out? Looks like they're certainly cautious of this, but having the spike to swing out. And, ooh, too many targets. Isu splits his attention. Spike planted. Just end up getting taken down. His tap onto the door. POA, Xparo just a second off being able to get the jump there. Flipshot are going to be taken out, though. A Saya player does take you him down. Run. Lockdown coming uh -oh. through it. Carpe finding the pick. Push forward there. I'm trying to lead the charge. Elmy Moore, the great fadeaway shot there on a side player. Gets himself a third, and Rossi now needs to back out. Sees a tiny little corner that he can tuck into. And back into the site quickly, but with the time ticking as low as it is, have to kill both of them here. Head down. Gets himself in. <laughs> Going for it, but yeah, Elmy Moore eventually will be able to get the wall bang headshot for a 4K in the round, and RQ. The timeout, it does work a treat for Jack Flipshider now in a very rough position. And it just has to hold his ground as the Prowlers continue oh. to check. And Sai finds one. Izu, in the meantime, just pushing out alongside Excurit. Picks off Xfero. Three players now left alive for RRQ as they will be able to get themselves onto the C site. But they're going to use the Nightfall off the rip before the plant has even come in. They spot absolutely nothing. So they can take some forward space up through Waterfall across to this C link. Back over towards the bend. Rossi in the meantime, potential to strike as he's creeping his way forward. Right now, backs are turned. Elimor able to come away with two, but now Showstopper from Jemkin to try to further slow things up. Gets the spot, gets the blow up there, but now Rossi coming oh. through, but can't quite get it done with the Odin. Takes him low, but RQ, they managed to hold on. You know, 3v5 to get on the eight ball in terms of, you know, the scoreline and on this map. And now T1 going to look to aggress themselves out onto Mount. He's going to start off with one. Saya just pick up another elsewhere. But uh, that is going to look pretty good for the side of T1. They still do have Carpe here on the site. Yeah, now reinforced the side player, rotates his way through Waterfall. 3v4. Carpe about sending the haunt. Oh, takes quite a bit of damage down to five. Going to be caught with Util in hand. Elmy Moore able to come away with a second elimination, but Cyan player finds flips. That's now the spike down the Viper out of the equation. Elmy Moore a bit stranded here. Sends the Prowler. Manages to cut across, but Pain Shell's into bend. Going to force him back out into the open where he's oh. able to challenge against Saya. He brings us back into a 2v2. Now a 2v1 as Estrella finds Rossi. Low HP. As it's just a one tap necessary. Elmy Moore back around the corner, swings in, but Excurit <laughs> holds his ground. And he is able to find the limbs and the diffuse. Wow. Excurit just barely able to hold. Too antsy from the side of Elmy Moore, wanting to go in for the challenge, suspecting, like, okay, I'm, I probably forced him back with that nightfall. He's decayed, etc. But Excurit, he knows how low 
The player is as he just sees Jemkin bouncing in. Toxins going up. He's gonna have a pretty decent career as a rabbit hunter. Yeah. <laughs> I love this setup there. X here at just making this map his right now. Oh. Zaya, oh, the jump, unfortunate for him, but he's got a lot of setup with his teammates right Maybe behind him. Down. Izu gonna take down two. Only or only more is watching this angle, but already four against two. Oh, and man. on the move, he's gonna go down. Spike yeah. Down a. See, only more there. Hand off the mouse, just not quite prepared. As flips, just seeing if he can get any kind of damage dealt, does manage to find one. Now Paranoid, Rossi as well though, getting caught by his teammates. Paranoia isn't able to swing, does end up getting taken down. We're back here on C, Prowler's out. Information given over Izu and he's not ready for it once again. Jemkin quick on that shot and they will be able to pick up the C site. Not seeing anything, Spike also planted. not going for the wall bang attempt. Working out down, but there's the showstopper pulled in from Saya. Jumps out, spots one, spots the difference, gets some damage here, but Elmimor swinging in, able to find two. This bike getting knocked down to 28. Jumpkin with a second, takes out Carpe, now execute it. Not enough money, no tour de force available. We'll just look to back away with AWP in hand, but you can already see Flipshotter, he wants to intercept, he wants to be able to take this weapon out of his hands because this AWP has been causing them issues. Let's see if he can go all the way around on time. At the moment, even the Prowler to help distract. I'll be more just trying to jump around, and there it is. Flipshiner from the left side will take him down. So, are you? And wait for this pressure to be coming on in. Has the Prowler's also taken out Jemkin? Is he going to send it? Prowler not spying much. Vulnerable's there. We are able to take out Jemkin, but not before Rossi falls. Carpet down at the back end. Excret, however, now arriving on the site. Hit going to be invested, and oh, had the lineup, but just doesn't pull the trigger fast enough. Elmi Moore swings in, finds him. Spike planted. And now, work cut out for them here for Saya and Izu. Up it can be picked up. It's an operator. It's not looking very likely, but let's see what work they can get done. Face your fear! That's okay, again, just looking for information there. Paranoia sent, but no way to push in off the back of that one. Attention being pulled over towards the door. Side player gets himself over towards this spike. Creeping forward, spots standing. one. It's just not quite snappy enough. Estrella takes him down. Paranoia sent. Get onto the door. Estrella potentially going to fall here. As, yep, off shot will be good. Nizu can just pass this over to execute it now. But RQ to get within touching distance. Yeah. Has a showstopper available. Question is, can they get a read on where Rossi would be positioned if they actually decide to try to push into this? Saya with his own off, though. A bit of damage, but finds the kill. Oh, he's just in the corner. They don't know. I mean, he's not in it right now. Tucks back inside. Through the poison orb, and oh, Rossi, not quite ready. Showstopper does get burnt, but kill is found. Pit now drops. Izu here. King within the smoke. Stray on the left hand side. The 4v4 as they try to hold this, but Carpe now sending that Nightfall. Will catch on the two. The players disconnected back on towards Matt. However, not going to get caught as Izu starts working his way forward. Elmi Moore. Decayed low, starting to get his HP back, clears out on these Prowlers. The push out, headshot found, Carpe gonna be taken down, Excret dead as well. Now it's all the on Izu and Saya player who still has an off in hand. Saya now gone. Izu in the 1v2, the defuse coming through. They're in a very disconnected position, but there you go. The final headshot will down to 45, but still can't not be found. A side player trying to push oh. the pace. It's gonna be paranoid, but still sees enough. They got Estrella. Pain shells now to cut off Link. Swing onto the corner, but Jemkin with the ghost will be able to strike him down, but it's a good amount of damage across on all of these members of RRQ, and Elmi Moore is only gonna be good for one as they push into the smoke. Just kind of running at them, like through the smoke, and yeah, they he got the jump on the one, but everybody else was behind him, and now Jemkin a bit low on health, and they're gonna get Rossi. thinking about it. Yeah, Rossi on the back side of that one, going to read the rotation, yeah, takes good. out Flipshider. Very low on health, these last two members should be an easy finish for the side of T1, but Sparrow. Sparrow doesn't look right. He actually would have been able to see Excret up on top, but because they missed each other, that means that he's gonna be able to get the jump here. Spots them both, can he transfer this? Goes for the one, oh, tuck into the corner. Can't quite find that second kill. Sees him drop down. Rossi still on the flank, now getting the read of it, but as he looks away, Extra pushes through the wall. Puts RQ in a bit of a rough position. Rossi gonna try to hold the line here. Ghost in hand, sends out the snake bite. And they are able to get 
slightly around this, but still a decent amount of damage being taken. Jemkin <laughs> still able to find one, but now the swing out from Izu and does get the punish. And looks like the call from T1 is let's take the fight. Izu says, screw it. I can win this out. Continues to push forward, finds himself a third. Yeah, they don't have to do this, but um, oh. I think they want to send a message as Estrella does pick up another here on the Saya. But of course, on the Eco RQ, still able to get. And you remember on Ascent, T1, they went over to the attacker side oh. as um, trying to hold it. Not able to. Rossi at least able to trade it back, but some damage done to him. So again, blast back and forth, trying to take some space, but Estrella here on up, they're able to find one. It's a headshot on the Carpe. And overall, so far, it's looking clean here for RQ. Just Elmy more as a casualty does. They don't just get rolled over here in the anti bonus as Izu is coming on in. Oh. And, uh, you know, it's I hope I didn't punish. speak too soon. <laughs> Could cost them. I mean, can at least try to grab the weapon or get the plant down for some added money, but eventually will fall. So, Rossi, his mission. Your mission is to stay alive. What did the mission used to be? <laughs> Save the operator. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they well, cannot. He's not able to. Oh, oh no. Could have saved Tux back. Four players <laughs> in position to potentially collapse the end onto this side, but Flipshack are going to be taken first and foremost. He ends up falling. Sparrow can do nothing but just sit here and stay tucked, stay quiet. As Haunt gets a reveal, and Elmimore is going to be taken down. Sparrow now striking, comes up with one. Looks like he's noting this, but now backs away. Oh, the timing for Izu, it could not be any better. Yeah. Saya so, yeah, looking to challenge. Stray up, about to get caught potentially. Yeah. As he's just swinging around, he's not ready for it. This now leaves Xferal in a 1v2. Low HP here on Carpe as he moves up, tries the challenge, gets him through the corner, and they know that Izu was behind. Pulls at the half, doesn't hear the drop. Does he pull off of this one? He's going to try to stick it! And Izu finds his time. Shot are playing quietly. Not revealing his position, but it doesn't matter. Izu just moves up through the smoke, finds the kill, but Showstopper gonna be short in side play, unable to find that elimination. Now has to back away. Nightfall coming through. Carpe shoves them back, buys some space. The plant comes in for T1. Now, all things considered, a pretty nice entry with Flipshiner down, and now a, a good setup, but Excurit is going to fall down right as they are potentially going to come in through the smoke. Waterfall being spotted oh. here by Excurit, but not able to hit it, and Jemkin gets value with his show suffer, but they don't check the corner, as Izu going to be able to pick up one, and Carpe gets two. And now it is all just Xferro on his lonesome for the drop down, gets the shot on to Izu, but it's just too many targets. Takes Carpe to three. Wait and see what he can find. Smoke down. Which is up, and he sees enough of Estrella to be able to take him down. Rotations now starting as they move away from the A site, which is where the spike is getting ready to move up to. Flipshot around the corner. Seconds left. Still suspicious. Sees a gun barrel, finds it, sees the spike. Now rotations can come back. Up on the wall, allows him to get bailed out, and also stands his ground to find one. Rossi will be able to finish him off there. They now go to a 3v3, but as the swing comes in, Jemkin taken down again. Attention a bit split. Izu going to be noted here on B as a spike. Well, very close to where they're coming from. A kill for either would give them the alt. There's the C's as Rossi going to be locked in a position for the moment, but there's just nothing else on the back end. They might now throw down. Xperial pushes up over the top of that one, but eventually they will go down to it. Oh, kind of unfortunate for RRQ. We're not really seeing the same level from their defensive side. As here comes Saya player once again, getting in there pretty quickly, and it's going to be easy to actually to take him down. Jemkin dead. Oh, Hit now, world. invested. Nightfall is available. Saya tucking back around the corner. Does keep himself safe for the moment. Some answering spray damage comes through. Saya picked off. Elmore able to find one Prowler, confirming that there's somebody up close. And for now, the spike will not be planted. Lockdown also available here from Xfero. Should they be able to get into a winnable position? And that pick on the Izu. It's looking a little bit better for them, but Carpe lurks around the back of sight, finds the catch, takes down one, and manages to avoid that Bulldog spray as Elmy Moore will get finished off. Lockdown now going to be committed. A 1v3 wow. here from Xparo. For all the marbles. Turret cleared out, swings, finds two, but he's not ready for Excurit. Oh, Just no. runs him down. <laughs> and he... Eventually, that just goes down, and now Estrella is right there. Tell me more. Picked off. Excurit uh -oh. able to find that kill. That's a solid start, but Rossi will get traded out. Turret cleared. Experiment finding one. Looks like we might not be done quite just yet. 
As Spike Xcrit now finds beat. himself in a 3v1. Off of the ready, spots oh. one for a moment, lines up the shot, but can't draw down against the straight fast enough. RQ hold on by a rubble. As both sides trying to get in their faces. Saya's already through the door in a tree, though. He's got that showstopper, and looks like widely RQ aware of this. Can they avoid it? A couple seconds, just a quick corner check as he rushes up the top. Singer in hand. There's a jump out, Saya. Blind it up. Jemkin able to find Carpe. Quick hops back up over the top. The next will be able to find one with that sort of force. Rossi finds the second kill here for the squad. Jemkin. Uh, the elimination, oh. but Izu now lurking. <laughs> Takes out Elmimor. Extra finds Xparrow, and suddenly this is all falling apart. Jemkin, the last one alive. Last man standing. Drops down off the rope. The plant being held. Izu. With that Fight in his planted. hands. And he's pushing forward, not pulling back towards Tree. He's not stacking up. And the timing. Oh. Jemkin just misses him. Swing onto the corner. He is struck Attack. down. And Excurate. The new IGL will be the finisher, a 3K.